Okay, you guys, I'm back again. This is A Love and Hip Hop Season 2, Episode 10. I'm almost caught up. Almost. All right, so I think I got this one, uh, one more, and then actually the season finale, which is tonight. So I'm getting there. I'm almost, I'm almost done, you guys. I'm almost fucking done. I told you I was going to get caught up, didn't I? I know I did. So let's go ahead and jump into it. So uh, Willie, uh, Ray, and uh, Rich, they're all meeting together. They're talking about their shit. Who cares? Moving on. Fizz, Moniz, and uh, Carmen. It is nice. They are working things out. Fizz and Moniz. Uh, Fizz wants to know about her dating. And uh, brings up uh, Rich and uh, Moniz having other men around his son. Now, if you guys pay attention to the video that I did, I mentioned this maybe like a couple videos ago. I, I mean, I just did the shit today. But I specifically spoke about this shit. Like, how the fuck dare you sit here? Because, again, like I said, yes, y'all really see my knees. Y'all fucking know this already. Regardless of that, <clears throat> ain't nobody saying shit about him letting his appetizer of the motherfucking week, of better yet, appetizer of the motherfucking day, meet his damn son, be around his motherfucking son, stand up in his motherfucking house, but you have the audacity to turn the fuck around and want to question who the fuck Moniz is. He want to talk to Rich. I'm moving the fuck on. Miles and Milan, they work this shit out. You know, it is what it is. You know, my, Milan ready to turn the fuck up, not the fuck up. It is what it is. But they back together, and he gonna meet uh, Miles' family. We might see that. We might not. Moving on. Fizz and Nikki, uh, what is it? Crazy girl. So Nikki feels that Tierra is uh, selfish because she wants to, um, you know, get lipo. Oh, so now she's selfish. You saying this shit to Fizz, but you couldn't say this shit to the motherfucking face. But now she fucking selfish. I'm like, okay. Nikki doesn't want to do Fizz's video because apparently she was his muse. She was his motivation. She don't want to do it. I guess next episode, uh, he gonna go crawling back to baby mama. Baby mama will be his new muse. I hope he gonna tell her bitch you was number two on the list. You know, I was going after something artificial when your ass is nothing but, or you know, I'm going to stop. I'm going to stop. Moving on. <laughs> and then Fizz sees Shonda. I, and my whole thing is this. Mona. 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 Bitch. Mona. I have not had a come to the Lord meeting with you in a hot minute. But look, bitch. I'm going to have to ask you to not make this shit so motherfucking stage. I was feeling. And I was turning a blind fucking eye to uh, Willie's and Shonda's fucking storyline. I was turning a blind eye. But the fact that of all... Oh, the motherfucking clothes she is sitting here taking her clothes off at, she taking hers off at niggas. Like it wasn't no other one that she could have went to that was a little bit more low key that nobody would knew who the fuck she was. Anyway, Rich and Moniz, Rich is tired of having to fucking prove himself to everybody that Moniz continues to put in front of him. And his whole thing is, I shouldn't have to sit here and you know sit in front of your fucking baby daddy and have to sit here and you know uh, verify or justify anything that has been in my past better yet let alone shit that has been in the fucking blogs and he even told her just like if shit go left it is what the fuck it is she's like well if you respond a certain way well if if shit go left and you respond a certain way then we're done and he's like well fuck it we might just be done then now here's the thing I can understand what she's saying cause she was as in her professional Baby daddy ain't going nowhere for another, well, however much long they have the union. Because what, well, I don't know, but he ain't going nowhere. He's forever going to be a part of her life because Cameron is part of her life, which is understandable. But with that being said, <clears throat> he don't have to necessarily, fit, Rich don't have to get along with Fizz. That shit don't necessarily have to happen. That is a plus, but it does not necessarily have to happen. It is the child that you need to be concerned about. The children, when I say y'all, children pick up on shit. Children know, okay. I'm gonna say this, children don't take what I'm about to say the wrong way, but children are like animals. Animals can sense shit before human beings can because they are more in tune with the motherfucking world. That's why a lot of times you'll see cows lay like lay down because they know weather is coming. You'll hear dogs would not respond to certain things because they know something is coming, something is afoot. They are more in tune. Children are more in tune. They can sit here and they can read a person real quick. They can read somebody's or be like, mmm, something ain't quite right. 
Okay, so I'm in quite right. So that, that's all I'm gonna say about that. Moving the fuck on, April and Marion. Uh, April pretty much wants her career. She wants to do music. She, you know, and I was pretty much telling her, you know, wait for the right time, and you know, you could be doing shit in the meantime. My whole thing is this shit. If I was, I would have been using love and hip hop every motherfucking chance I got to have been singing. While I'm sitting here playing around with the baby in my damn stomach, I don't, I can't care. But I'm just saying, I would have been in the motherfucking mirror with the cameras on me, 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 me. I would have been in that motherfucking singing every motherfucking chance I got. She need to take care. So come on now, she got opportunity. She bullshitting. Moving on, Sean and Willie. So Fizz and Nikki uh, show up at his showcase, and Nikki side swiped that ass because she wasn't, uh, she didn't know that Willie didn't know that his girl was taking off her clothes, and he like the fuck, and these motherfuckers start to have war with motherfucking foe. Fucking Fizz and Nikki got up and left, and I respect that. Get the fuck up again. This shit was still put on, but you know they arguing and whatnot. And, you know Willie tells Shauna that you know if you want to do what the fuck you want to do, then you can do it by yourself. She get mad motherfucker out of him. He gets up on stage, performs one motherfucking song. It was not what it was. You know that note he had the end. I was feeling it. He should just hell that shit just a little bit longer. You know what I'm saying? Hell that shit a little bit longer. And, you know, Sean apologized because she was saying, you know, well, I didn't want to do what I did, but you had your punks, stilettos, in your car, ready to go up in the motherfucking club. Get the fuck out of here. Fizz and Rich, they get together. They have a man-to-man -man conversation I was fucking here for. Mad respect to them moving the fuck on. Hazel is getting the fucking shit done. They're doing, like, a costume fitting for the damn fashion show. Uh, like I said, Princess is there. Um... Plastique is there, and Milan is at. Milan has an underwear line. All right, they want some man candy. Good for y'all. So, Tierra moseys her on her ass up in here. She has nothing, I believe, but prints. So she don't even have the clothes ready. But I guess somebody's supposed to do the stitching and whatnot for the fucking clothes. So she comes in, does not notice that Princess is there. But Hazel tells her, "Well, Milan is here. Also, Prince is here. So now." You know, Tierra wants to turn the fuck up. Now she don't want to be a part of the motherfucking show. Hazel tells her, like, shit, we were building a bridge. I walked across that bridge, but it ain't like I never sat here. It's, it's, it's not like I fucked my best friends, dude. And then they blow about that shit. Here's what pissed me off. Why the fuck y'all turning up at a place that y'all supposed to be sitting here building money? Most of these motherfuckers probably may not even want to work with y'all asses again because y'all motherfucking unprofessional. But I digress, moving the fuck on. Hazel says it's not everyone, it's you. And I was feeling that shit because if she didn't sit there and piss off every motherfucking character in that motherfucking room, or there's been an issue between her and one of them, it may not necessarily be them. It might be you if you are at the center of every fucking thing. And all I'm gonna say is this before I get off. Y'all see how close Princess was. Princess had a prime opportunity to steal on that ass. But I think she was enjoying the motherfucking scene too much. She was like, I'm gonna get your ass later. And quiet as is quick. Blah, blah, blah. Quiet as is kept. She didn't got that ass at the reunion. Y'all let me know how y'all feel. Rate, comment, subscribe, and share. I'm gonna see y'all guys uh, very soon for the next fucking video. Peace.